I would say it is one that is being prosecuted for their beliefs or the way they look or any other moral <laughs> differences if they're being discriminated for that, I would call that bullying. When he makes fun of somebody and it hurts her feelings and they don't like it. I guess bullying is one, when someone feels, um, I guess like they're accused when they're prosecuted or you know, they don't exactly feel comfortable or they're under pressure by someone who is constantly putting this pressure on them or you know, harassing and making fun or it could be physical or verbal, making someone feel like they don't you exactly belong. I think there's many forms of bullying, but like there's teasing kind of bullying. And there's giving you a lunch money or honestly like beat you up. Like that kind of bullying. Well, I think it's hard to define something that is so broad. Like, because someone could feel bullied when someone is doing one thing to them, but the next person would be like, whatever. So it's hard to say that is bullying when for some person it might not be. Also, like, if it's something that happens over and over again, then that's definitely bullying. When you offensively or, like, physically or verbally assault someone. When it hurts the other person's feelings and they don't like it. Teasing can be, like, it, it's only a light. You might feel bullying a little, little harder than teasing becomes bullying when they don't stop and they keep on keep on do doing it and they don't stop. Depends on the comment, obviously, but like if someone just like lets it slip because they didn't get a good night's sleep the night before, like it, it would get some leeway, I would think. But if they persist, I would call that bullying. Well teasing engage we laugh with you, like not because they want to fit in. It starts getting bullying when it makes them feel uncomfortable when you're sad. At the point where that person feels unsecured.